little bit later than usual today. It's because our schedule is kind of cattywampus. We are still at the Tony Robbins event in Austin, hence the cattywampus schedule. That's how that goes, all right? Just for you guys that haven't done a Tony Robbins event, it's called Tony time, and it's different than the rest of our time, okay? So <laughs> there's that. What we're talking about today, you guys, is three ways to know, all caps, know, that you're living inside your purpose, okay? So we're gonna get into that here in just a second. And we are going to, so let me do this real quick. We are giving things away. Do you guys know that? Do you know that you are able to win stuff? All you have to do is subscribe to YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, not just any, and then comment on the YouTube videos and then share the YouTube videos into social media, tagging myself or my business page in it. And one person every week just gets a little tap on the shoulder and we say, hey, you want something? Psst, go over to the swag shop. And then you go to the swag shop and the swag shop is at the top of withmartha.com. Just click on shop, go over there, look through what you want, grab it, uh, let us know if you've won, then let us know what you want and we're gonna go ahead and send it to you, okay? So that's how you win stuff, so there's that. All right, let me get out of there. I love you guys, I see you. Good morning to all of you. I'm gonna uh, circle back around here after I'm done with my content and I wanna see what you guys are thinking about what I'm saying because this is actually a really, uh, it's a really big deal. It's a really big deal. There's a lot of talk of, you know, purpose and finding our purpose and living inside of our purpose and you know, what is your purpose? And a lot of people, they get stuck on that step. They get stuck on the step of, and it's a first step, honestly. They get stuck on this step and they sort of sit around and they keep contemplating. They like turn into professional philosophers <laughs> is the way that I see it. And they, they contemplate and they go to a lot of events and they kind of immerse themselves in it and they're like, what is my purpose? What do I feel drawn to do? And that's all fine and good, you guys. I think the body and the brain like to be in that state of what if and where, like, what can I think about and da 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 da. Likes to be in that state. Our soul likes to be in a state of action, right? Our brain likes to be in a state of contemplation and what if, what could be, and all of the, and that's great. That's great as you're discovering and, and you keep, you cycle, you know, you cycle and you'll keep going back through it. But our soul, the soul satisfaction part of it is from action. It's not from sitting around and thinking of what our potential, what our purpose could be. It's about taking action and what we feel drawn to do. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to go through three ways to know that you're living your purpose. And of course, that is going to look on the other side. It's also going to look like, okay, well, here's how I know I'm not, you know? So you'll be able to look at it from both angles here. Well, let's just go ahead and get into it. Sound fair? Number one, how you know that you're living in your purpose, you guys, is you're helping. You're helping people, right? You're, you're making other people's life better. I don't believe that there's any purpose out there that isn't entrenched and engulfed in helping people, in making other people better. Now, you know, whenever you get, you get into HBR and stuff, we're going to help you figure out who your people are and that sort of thing. And those are the people that you end up helping and you help them the most because you are them, quite frankly, right? And you build a community and all of that. I'm not going to go into all of that. But to be able to sit in service for your people, to be able to wake up every day and to be in service to your individuals, your family, your chosen family, which is what they become, your, your communities that you're creating, you guys, they end up becoming an extension of yourself. They end up becoming an, like an, a, a chosen family. That's There's not a day that goes by that I'm not thinking of 5, 10, or 15 of you guys different ones typically every day and wondering like, I wonder how they're doing. I wonder what's going on. And then I'll go creeping. 
And then I'll go creeping in social media and I'll be like, how are they doing? What's going on? And, and I, I won't say anything. I'll be one of the creepers, right? I'll be one of the people that just kind of like checks out what you're doing and I won't say anything. But I'm making sure that you're okay because you're my people. And so the very first thing, you guys, to know that you're living in your purpose is that you're in service to people in some capacity. You're living in service to people in some capacity. I don't believe that there's a purpose out there that is not service driven, in my opinion. Number two, you guys, soul satisfying, okay? This is one, there was my deep breath. Do you guys just hear that? This is one that the most heart-centered loving people on the in the world can start with looking for their soul satisfaction freak out panic and end up in but where's the money but where's the money but where's the money and then it's gone you i mean it's you can't you can't live in a space of where's the money where's the money and be at peace in love with where you're sitting right now to have your soul satisfied you can't be soul satisfied by how you're serving people and also, where's the money? Where's the money? Scarce, urgency. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Ah, panic, mayday, abort mission, right? Is a, is a stark contrast to, I am just so grateful to be able to serve like this. I'm so grateful to have been put on this planet in front of these individuals to be able to serve in the way that I serve, to help them be better and to have them help me be better. Let's not pretend it's a one-way street, right? We make each other better and it is soul satisfying. So that's this is one that is actually a really, really big one. Because if you at any way in your mind, if you in, at any point are like, oh my gosh, where are the dollars? Where's the money? Blah, blah, blah. If you're doing any of that, you're not here. You can't be. You can't be in that place in this place at the same time. You, you simply can't. You can't be like, yes, I love what I'm doing. I love how I'm serving also, but I don't have enough, but I don't have enough. It's, it's impossible. Okay. You're living in your purpose when you are soul satisfied by what you're doing. And I guarantee, I wish I had a stamp. I guarantee to you that when you live in this space of soul satisfaction of how you are serving your people, the resources, the funds, the finances, the, all of that stuff is going to come. You hear it all the time. And a lot of people roll their eyes and like, yeah, people, rich people always say that. That's what I feel like that's that's what happens out in the world whenever you hear that. Oh, okay, well, that's what rich people say. Well, I mean in the meantime, I can't pay for gas. You know, like that's that I was there. <laughs> I was there, guys. I was there where I had literally pennies, dimes, and quarters, and sometimes an actual paper dollar bill to be able to pay for gasoline to get to work. I remember that. I remember having that and taking it to the cashier at the gas station and saying, okay, so it's like $2.17. I need to prepay because I don't want to go over, right? And if you prepay, they won't let you go over. <laughs> That's how you have to do that. Or else if I would just paid at the pub, I was going to have to, you know, I may have gone over. So I would go in, I would humbly give these people my one paper dollar bill my nickels, my dimes, and my pennies. And I would say, here's what I got. And then I would go get my gas. I lived in there. I was there. I get it. I understand hearing somebody and say, hearing somebody say, just do what your heart leads you to do. And the money is going to just come. And I remember thinking that is so easy for someone else to say. They don't get where I'm at. They don't know what it feels like to be here. I'm telling you guys right now, I know what it feels like to be there. I have been there. 
And I'm also saying to you, if you lead with soul satisfaction and service, true service, true, like your heart is almost like, it's almost like your heart comes outside of your body and is just wanting to just hug everybody around you in your community. Like you're just wanting to serve like that. When you go to that place, you will be blessed. You will be. I live it. Every day I live it, guys. I need you to truly believe what I'm saying here and take it in on a cellular level and understand that's the reality. But if you freak out, if you say, oh, but I need this, but I need this, but I need this, you're, it's not... You're not in the right place. I'm going to stop beating a dead horse. I've said it enough, but you guys get it. Number three, you guys. You can't wait to get started each day. I remember whenever I was working at my, um, well, many corporate jobs that I had. And I would keep hitting the... Um, I would keep hitting the alarm button, right? So like the alarm on my phone, I would keep hitting it. It would go off and then I'd hit it again. I had set, how many of you guys do this? I had set alarms for every five minutes <laughs> from like one hour to the next hour just so I could keep hitting the alarm. And every day I would just think, man, do I, can I just call in today? Do I have any sick time? I don't want to be there. I don't want to do this. I don't want to get up and do this. And then even though I didn't want to, I would get myself dressed, you know, throw my hair in a messy bun, look like a mess, get in my car, trudge to work, and then see the building and be like, <sighs> I don't want to do this, but I don't have other options. This is what I have to do. I have to make money. In this world we live in, I have to have cash. I have to have money. So this is how I have to make that money. This is, this is where I'm at right now. So it was a balance between being thankful for being able to make money, but then also just really hating what I was doing. Living inside your purpose, guys, is loving waking up every morning to serve the way that you're serving. Now let me throw another wrench in there for those of you that are like, okay, Martha, like I'm all on board with what you're doing. I still have to work my day job while I set up this other stuff. I get you, I was there too, okay? So here's the, let's do a little hack in here. And let's actually, living inside your purpose, let's say that living inside of your purpose is waking up excited to serve every day. Well, in doing that, you guys, we can do that at our corporate job. It's a change of how we see things. You're changing your view of the world around you. You're changing how you're looking at the, the place that you're going. So there's the, you know, I don't feel like I, I have purpose being there. There's that viewpoint. It's all kind of like the sunglasses you're wearing, the filter you're looking through. Or you put on the sunglasses that say, you know what? I love serving people. I love uh, being able to help people out. I'm going to look for ways to be able to surprise and delight people today. I'm going to look for ways to be able to serve today. I'm going to look for ways to be used. I'm going to look for ways to be in and on purpose today, okay? And you go to work with that mentality, your day will be so much better. Plus, the interesting thing is you'll start bringing about the changes in your world. I started doing that at my corporate job before I quit. Just so you know, I was starting to go to work. Like I had done it probably for about six months to a year, six months to a year. I was showing up there in and on purpose. I was like, I was looking for ways to be able to serve, whether it was the people I was talking to on the phone, whether it was the person that sat next to me, whether it was a, a person that needed to be edified on the way to the, to, to the lunchroom, or if it was the person that just looked like they were having a rough day and giving them a smile and saying, how are things going, right? Like, how are you doing? 
Like, do you, yeah, not, not, do you need to chat? I'm not your therapist, but like, how are things going? If they want to talk there, they have the opportunity to talk. It's those moments. We seek purpose. We find purpose. When we seek purpose, we find purpose. Okay. So don't walk through your life thinking that, well, I haven't been able to quit my job and do the stuff that Martha's talking about. So I don't get that yet. You get it today right now. And that's a choice that you're making. You can have it today right now, from this moment forward, today. Make it your mission. I'm going to make someone's world better today. I'm going to make somebody happier. I'm going to make somebody feel seen and feel heard today. I'm going to be the ear they don't have. I'm going to be, you know, to listen to them. That's being in and on purpose, and it's going to bring the rest of it around for you. Okay, so just to, to recap, helping others. So this is the three ways to know that you're living your purpose. You're helping others. Your work is soul satisfying and you can't wait to get started each day. Okay, those are your three things. Let me know what questions you have, things like that. I wanted to give you a heads up. Um, some of you guys know and some of you don't, but I have a group of business strategists that I've trained to do a year of content, like to help you guys create your year of content. Okay. They also help with bat signal and stuff like that, but, um, they've been trained by me to help create the year of content for you. So you have 365 days of content and then you can just cycle through it. Today's topic was, uh, brought to you by Megan Larson. Okay. So Megan, this was one of, cause they've created a year of content for me. And so every day I'm going to let you know who came up with that piece of content. And so what you can do, if you want a year of content yourself, no big deal if you don't, no big deal. But if you do want somebody to help walk you through your year of content, what you would do, there's a link in the description of this video and it's uh, to the business strategist. And so today, like I said, Megan cr um, chose the topic for today. And uh, they chose my pillars, my topics, everything, okay? So Megan chose this topic for today, so I just wanted to give you a heads up if you wanted to sign up with Megan for the um, content creation. So that was a year of content, which is beyond amazing. It's not just random content. It's content that helps find your people, get your people to you, and be able to um, nurture them and go through our entire system that we go through. Okay, you guys, so there is that. Also, if you guys are not in HBR yet, I do have to say super quick, I'm almost out of time. Uh, HBR is getting split into three levels. It's, it's basically a college course, okay? So it's being split into beginner, intermediate, and advanced, and that's gonna happen very soon. That's all gonna equal about 10K when it's all said and done, okay? You can get into all three of those right now for $14.97, all right? It's being split up pretty soon, but because it's not split up yet, you can still get in at $14.97. The way that you do that is you go to Live in the Dream with Martha. It's my Facebook business page. Message me the words, let's do this, rainbows and unicorns, whatever you want. We'll have a chat. I'll give you the details, and there is that. So let me go ahead and get that off of here. I want to bring some of you guys up. Misty, I'm thankful for the career I have, but wanting more. Be content where you are, but keep moving forward. Yeah, amen to that. David, welcome back. Love this. We need to be reminded of this from time to time. Amen to that, man. Amen. Michelle, exactly. Our life is not just about us. Never, never. Misty, yes, changing my sunglasses. All right, Cindy. It's all in how you show up to whatever you need to do. Absolutely, 100%. Oh, I love it. You guys are the best. Have the best day. Move forward with intention. Choose how you're going to serve today. I love you guys. I'll see you later.